Hello everyone. So today, let us uh, start using uh, calculated measures. And uh, I was thinking about uh, a good example for showing you how to work on uh, calculated measures. And I thought, uh, why not use the Gantt chart that we were working on? Now, the Gantt chart that we were working on is uh, something which is very simple to create. I discussed this in uh, the previous video. And uh, this is, of course, the Gantt chart. You can see here that uh, you can display uh, your issues. Those issues uh, can be epics or maybe you have epics and stories under it. It will display this information nicely. But the main thing that I wanted to show you is also the progress. Now, this progress right now is hard coded. If you remember, we, we basically hard coded this value. But I was thinking maybe if you are... Uh, if your definition of progress is simply number of issues resolved, then we can calculate we can calculate uh, some kind of percentage from it. And I basically was uh, trying to uh, bring in number of issues uh, created, which is of course a, a predefined measure for you, and also number of issues uh, resolved. Now, this is of course applicable for cases where uh, you have epics and stories. So, for example, if you are looking at AN186, this particular uh, AN186 uh, might have uh, further issues under it. So, maybe you want to uh, display them uh, on the report. But what I want to know is number of issues uh, created and uh, number of issues resolved. And I want to create a progress. So, this progress could be simply uh, uh, a simple division which is uh, resolved issues divided by created issues into 100. And you don't have to worry about uh, the percentage because uh, if you look at this uh, measure, which I was actually able to create uh, very easily, I'll probably get rid of the progress, which is hard coded, and I'll, uh, you, I'll work on the resolved percentage. And if I show you the actual formula, I'll, I'll probably create it from scratch so that you also know how to do it. So on the right, I mean, when you click on the define new calculated member, you have to basically use uh, th these uh, options that you have on the on the right hand side. So right now, if you're talking about number of issues resolved divided by number of issues created, you will get, of course, no some number like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. And if you're using formatting here, which is integer percentage, then based on this division, it will basically show you the percentage. And you can define your measure with any name, like like in my case, it, in my case, it is resolved percentage. I'll probably use a resolved with a capital R and percentage. Maybe I'll use a percentage sign. It looks slightly better. And uh, now we have the percentage here, which is displayed. Now, because we have a percentage, it uh, will also uh, display things on uh, the Gantt chart. On, and of course, on the Gantt chart, uh, you have uh, the option to uh, take a look at. I mean, right now, of course, uh, we have this progress which is great in green color. But when you hover your mouse on top of uh, any activity, any any level, it will show you in the pop up the uh, details that you have in the in the table. So I thought I'll probably also uh, show you the simple example. Of course, uh, uh, when when we get a chance, we'll also Im improve this can chart further. And I will also show you uh, a bit more advanced calculations in our that we can do in our uh, measure by defining our custom measure for reporting using ACBI. And that is all that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.